Summary of the Eumenides by Aeschylus At the beginning of the play, Pythia, who is a priestess of Apollo, is getting ready to say her morning prayer. But her rite is stopped by a refugee covered in blood who has come to her temple to be washed. Orestes, who was the son of Agamemnon and Clytemnestra, killed his mother to get back at her for killing his father. A group of persistent furies, who are evil goddesses whose only goal in life is to punish bad people, are following him. Even though Pythia is scared by what she sees and runs away right away, the god Apollo takes her place. He tells the crowd that Orestes only killed Clytemnestra because he was told to buy the gods. He then says that he has put the furies to sleep and that he hates the cruel goddesses. Apollo tells Orestes that he needs to go to Athens, where the goddess of wisdom, Athena, will judge his case. In the meantime, he asks his god half-brother Hermes to help Orestes get to Athens. When Orestes leaves, the ghost of Clytemnestra shows up and makes fun of the Furies for being lazy. When they wake up, they are shocked to find that the person they were trying to catch has gotten away. They curse the Olympian gods for letting a bad person resist their power. At this point, Apollo comes out of the temple, and they start to talk back and forth. Apollo thinks that the Furies are disgusting and scary, and that they are left over from a time when revenge was more important than doing what is right. The Furies, on the other hand, think that Apollo wants to take their power. At the end of the conversation, both the Furies and Apollo promise to go after Orestes. Scene changes to Athens, where Orestes prays to Athena right as the Furies find him again and threaten and torture him. Soon after, Athena walks in and tells the Furies and Orestes to tell her who they are and why they've come to Athens. She says that she must protect her city no matter what. Both sides tell her why they are there and agree to follow what she says. Athena wants to do right, but she is afraid of the Furies' anger. She decides, though, to hold the first ever murder trial to find out if Orestes is guilty. She finds ten honest people to serve on the jury. When the trial starts, the Furies say that Clytemnestra's life is just as important as Agamemnon's. Apollo, on the other hand, says that men's lives are more important than women's, and Athena agrees. Her choice lets Orestes, an innocent man, go free. The Furies are terrified by this chain of events because they think that Athena has taken their power. Athena, on the other hand, is smart enough to give the Furies a new job, protecting Athens. She tells them that if they bring peace and wealth to the city, they will be given gifts and prayers in return. After being persuaded, the Furies agree to become the Eumenides, which means the kind ones. About the author Aeschylus was born in Eleusis, Greece, and grew up during the Golden Age of Athens. In 490 BCE, he fought against the Persians at the Battle of Marathon. Before this, around 500 BCE, he started writing plays, and by 484 he had won first prize at the Dionysia, which was Greece's most important event for tragic plays and a huge honor for a Greek dramatist. Aeschylus wrote more than 90 plays, but only seven of them are still around today. He went on to win first prize in the Dionysia 12 more times. The Orestia trilogy was some of his most recent and best work. He had such a big impact on Greek theater that Aristophanes, in his comedy play The Frogs, which was written in 405 BCE, called Aeschylus the best poet the world had ever seen. Hope we summarized it fully and you liked it. Please hit the like button and subscribe to our channel so that we are motivated to create more videos.